Hey guys, today we'll be reviewing Dead Rising 2 off the record. This director's cut for Dead Rising 2 came out in 2011 and had really good reviews. I mean, of course it did. Frank West is back. Alright, so let's get into it. So, off the record is Dead Rising 2's story, with a bit more twists and turns to make Frank fit. This was before the crack fest that was Dead Rising 4 and Monster Hunter World, that piece of crap, oh my god. There were also some downgrades though. Such as the quest arrow being downright stupid and the unskippable dialogue with Stacy over the microphone. Checking the watch now requires you to pause the game. This would be fine if you're playing solo, but on co-op it's pretty annoying. There are a few new psychopaths such as Adam the Clown's brother, Evan. I won't tell you about the other new ones so I don't spoil anything. Off the record brings Frank West back and not the imposter Hank East this time, thank god. With Frank being back though, you don't use his camera too much besides the intro to the game. I would say I prefer this game to the original, be just because I have good memories with the original, and while I was playing through this game, I was also playing through Monster Hunter World. Oh my god, Monster Hunter World is terrible. I, I know I'm cutting into this Dead Rising 2 off the record review, but never even like look at anything with Monster Hunter World. It's the worst game I've ever played. But other than that, I'd probably give this game an 8 out of 10, just because Dead Rising 2 was a bit funner. Now, of course, this is Adam the Clown from Dead Rising 1. Let's compare him to his little brother, Evan. Here he is. He has He's on stilts because he's pretty short, but that's them. All right.